Hey everyone, this is Kamran and our topic for today is heap data structure. In our last video, we looked at the tree data structures where we used to have nodes arranged in a hierarchical order and they were connected using the edges. We also looked at the binary trees where each node of the tree could have maximum two children. There are different types of binary trees, but let's look at the full and complete binary trees before we talk about the heap data structure. Alright, so full binary tree is the type of binary tree in which each node of the tree has either no children or two children. Again, no children or exactly two children. We can't have a node with one child. Let's take an example to understand this better. If you look at this tree, you can see that all the nodes of the tree have either two children or they are the leaf nodes. That is, they don't have any children. And because it follows the properties of a full binary tree, so we can say that this tree is a full binary tree. Let's say that we remove the node G. Now in this case, the tree will no longer be a full binary tree. Because the condition of full binary tree of having either zero children or two children is not being fulfilled. Because the node C has now one child. But if we remove the node F, now it will become a full binary tree. Because C is a leaf now with zero children. Next we have the complete binary tree. In complete binary tree, all the levels of the tree are fully filled except the last level which can be partially filled. But the condition is that if we have any nodes on the last level, they must be on the leftmost nodes. Again, all the tree levels are to be fully filled and the nodes on the last level should be on the far left side. Let's take an example to understand this better. So here we have a binary tree with three levels. And you can see that all the levels are fully filled with nodes. So we can say that this is a complete binary tree. Now let's say that we remove the node G. Now if you look at the state of the tree, in this case level 1 and 2 are fully filled and all the nodes on the level 3 are on the far left side. So it is still a valid complete binary tree. Now let's say that we remove the node E. In this case the tree is no longer a complete binary tree. Since the condition for complete binary tree is to have all the nodes on the far left side and node F in this case is not on the far left side. There are two ways to make this tree a complete binary tree. We can either move F under the node B or we can completely remove the node F. In both the cases the tree will be a complete binary tree. Alright enough about the trees. Let's look at the heap data structure. Heap data structure is a tree based data structure with two properties. First, it is a complete binary tree and the second, it follows the properties of either min heap or max heap. Let's look at the min heap first. In min heap, the value of each of the parent node of the tree is less than or equal to the value of its children. Let's look at an example to understand this better. Let's say that we have this binary tree with these values. Now if you look at the node values, you can see that the value of each parent node in the tree is less than its children. So 5 is less than 10 and 12, 10 is less than 21 and 22, and 12 is less than 24 and 89. And because the tree is fulfilling the properties of a heap and a min heap, we can say that the tree is a min heap. Now before we go ahead, if you look closely at this min heap, you will notice two things. First, the value of the root node, which is 5, is the smallest value of the tree. And also, if we keep going down in the tree, the values keep increasing. Alright, so next we have the max heap. Max heap is the opposite of the min heap. That is, the value of each parent node is greater than or equal to its children. Let's take an example. Let's say that we have this binary tree with these values. If you look at the values here, each parent node has a value greater than its children. So 99 is greater than 85 and 75, 85 is greater than 21 and 65, and 75 is greater than 43 and 65. And because all the properties of heap and max heap are being fulfilled, we can say that this is a max heap. And also you can see that the value of the root node in a max heap is the largest value of the tree. And also if we keep going down in the tree, the values keep getting smaller and smaller. Alright, let's look at the heap operations. 
First of all, we have the insert operation. Insertions in heap are done from the top to bottom and left to right. Let's see how it works. Let's start with node 40, which will become the root node because this is the first node of the tree. The next item 31 will be inserted to the left of the root node. 34 will be inserted to the right of the root node. 98 will be inserted to the left of 31. 9 to the right. 33 to the left of 34. 11 to the right of 34. And similarly, we'll keep on inserting the new nodes from left to right. Alright, now if we look at our tree, we have a problem here. It is not a heap. Because as per the properties of a heap, it should be a valid complete binary tree, which it is. But it is neither a min heap, because some parent nodes have a greater value than the children. And nor it is a max heap, because some nodes have a smaller value than the children nodes. Alright, so how do we fix this issue? To fix this issue after each insertion, we compare the newly inserted node's value with the parent node. And we bubble the node up if needed. Let's see how this bubbling works in a min heap. Let's say that we have 40 at first, because this is the first node of the tree, so it will become the root node. Next we have 31. We will insert 31 at the left of the node 40. And after insertion, we'll compare the new node's value, which is 31, with the parent node, which is 40. In the min heap, the parent node must be smaller than the child node. So we will simply swap 31 with the 40 and 31 will become the new root. Next we have 34 which will be inserted to the right of the 31. Now again we will do the comparison. Now 34 is greater than 31 so no swap or bubbling is needed. Next we add 9 which will be inserted to the left of 40. Again we will do the comparison. 9 is smaller than 40 so 9 will bubble up. Next, we'll compare 9 with 31. And again, 9 is smaller, so it will bubble up and become the new root node. Next, we have 11. Comparing 11 with 31, 11 will move up. Comparing 11 with 9, 9 is smaller, so no more bubbling is needed. Next, we have 85. 85 is already greater than 34, so no bubbling is needed. Next, we have 10. We'll compare it with 34. So 10 is smaller than 34, so we will bubble it up. After that we have 10 and 9. 10 is greater than 9, so we will stop here and no more bubbling. And this is how the new nodes are inserted into a min heap. We insert the node and keep bubbling it up if the value of the node is smaller than the parent node. In the similar way we have the max heap, where we insert a node and keep comparing and bubbling it up if the newly inserted node's value is greater than the parent node. The complexity of insertion in a heap, whether it is a min heap or a max heap, is logarithmic. Alright, so next operation we have is the deletion operation. While deleting a value from a heap, if it is a min heap, we delete the smallest value first, after that we delete the second smallest value, after that we delete the third smallest value and so on. And similarly in the max heap, we start with the deletion of the largest value and after that we delete the second largest value and then the third largest value and so on. Let's see how we can delete items from a min heap. We know that the smallest value in the min heap is owned by the root node. So we will simply delete the root node. But now we have an empty space for the root. To fill this space, we pick up the last element of the heap and make it the new root. But the issue with this approach is that the new root that we may pick, it may not be the valid root. So if you look at the current example, we have the root node of 34. 34 is greater than the children nodes 10 and 11. So our tree is not a min heap anymore. To fix this issue, we compare the new root with its children and bubble the node down till it reaches the place where it has to be. So in this example, we will compare 34 with 11 and 10. Now 10 is the smallest of the three values, so we will move or swap 34 with 10. Next we will compare 34 with 85. Now 34 is smaller, so no more bubbling is needed. So this is how the deletion works in heap. We delete the root node, move the last node to the root position, and bubble the root down till it reaches its position. Let's take another example to make sure that we understand this better. 
Next, we will remove 10 and we will move 85 to the root node. Now, 85 will be compared with 11 and 34. 11 is the smallest, so 11 will be swept with 85. Now, 85 will be compared with 40 and 31. 31 is the smallest, so 85 will be swept with 31. And with that, our heap will be ready after the deletion. The deletion in max heaps also works the same way. The only difference is that instead of looking for a smaller node value, we look for a greater node value when we bubble down the root node. The algorithmic complexity of deleting a value from a heap is also logarithmic. Alright, so now that we have covered what the heap is, the types of heap and the different heap operations, let's look at the use cases of the heap data structure. The heap data structure is mostly used in the cases when we need to access the minimum or maximum values quickly. They are used in the priority queues. For example, if you have a list of tasks with importance assigned to each task, and while working on a task, you move from the highest importance task to the lowest importance tasks. In that case, you might want to use priority queue or a heap. They are also used in the other algorithms that we'll be covering on this channel, such as heap sort and the Dijkstra's algorithm. All right, so that is all for this one. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will see you in the next one.